Hi, Nuri, how are you doing? Everything good? Ricardo, how's it going, man? Hi, teacher. Hello, Hello Jenny. Hello, Nuri. Oh, good evening. All right, hold on, guys. Let me. I don't know why my camera didn't turn on here. How's it going, guys? How's, how's, how's your day? How was work today? I was good day. <laughs> you were what, uh, Jenny? Yeah, yes, yeah, because I finished my schedule for this day. Oh, and... so you don't have to work anymore? <laughs> no, no, my schedule this day. <laughs> Only this day. I finished. No, that, that's what I mean. So you don't have to work anymore for today. Uh -huh. Yeah, that does not usually happen. Oh, okay. So, so usually after, I mean, usually at this, um, by this time, you still have work to do. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. All right. Got you. Got you. All right. Uh, how about you, Ricardo? How was your day? Yeah. My day was busy. Uh, right now, I am relaxing. All right. Very good. Yep. Um, all right, Nuri. Uh, how was your day, Nuri? Good evening, teacher. Uh, as always, teacher. Very busy. All right. Very good. All right, guys, so let's get started, okay? Uh, I don't know why everybody's late today, but let's get started. All right, so guys, um, so today, guys, we're gonna talk about past perfect. So we were talking about simple past before, right? So, so guys, what do we use simple past for? What is the main usage of simple past? To talk about what? To talk about things that what? That we we don't we don't. Okay, to to talk about things that we have done. All right, to talk about things that are already finished, right? Got it. So things that occurred in the past, that's what we use, you know, simple past for, right? And actually happened in the past and it finished in the past, okay? All right, so very good. Now, who has an idea, guys, so what past perfect is? Good evening. Good evening. Oh, thank. You. Hi, Monica. Nice to see you. I know why people is not here, guys. They're watching the the game. Yes. Oh my God. I'm gonna I'm gonna talk to you. I'm gonna talk to them tomorrow. <laughs> All right. Anyways, uh, somebody actually told me, guys, that um that they were at the stadium. <laughs> That's why they couldn't come. I know that that's that's good. All right. Anyways, guys. So, uh, hold on. Am I presenting? Am I presenting? No, right. All right. Very good, guys. So, um, so in today's agenda, guys, we're gonna have a warm up. We're gonna go over grammar and uh, we're gonna have some practice. Okay. So, um, so this is a question, guys. In past perfect. Okay. Uh, let's see, Monica, since you came late, help me read. I'm kidding. All right, let's go, Monica. Help me read. What had you done before you arrived home yesterday? Very good. What had you done before you arrived home yesterday? Okay. All right. So, Ricardo, what had you done before you arrived home yesterday? Well, I... I was in the office and working. And... Okay. So I was working in the office. All right. Yeah. So, okay. So I was working. That's past progressive, right? But that, I mean, that that's good. Okay. Um, Nuri, so what had you done 
before you arrived home yesterday? Um, I was um, I was uh, running. Okay. So you were running when? Before I arrived home yesterday. Okay. All right. Okay. Kind of. Okay. Good job. Good job. Right. Um. What about you, Jenny? What had you done before you arrived home yesterday? I had. I had. Participio de go. Went. I had gone. I had gone. I gone. I gone the the supermarket. I had gone to the supermarket. Repeat. Mm -hmm. I had gone to the supermarket. I have gone to the supermarket. Okay, very good. All right. All right, let's see. What about you, Maria Belen? So what had you done before you arrived home yesterday? I had cooked the dinner. Okay, I had cooked dinner. Okay. Yes. Yeah, you, don't, you don't say that dinner, okay? It's just dinner. Okay. Very, very okay. Uh, Rodrigo, so what had you done before you arrived home yesterday? Before, let me see. I was uh, I was in the gas stations, and uh, so. Okay, you were at the gas station. Okay. Yep. Um, all right, Francisco. All right, Francisco. What had you done before you arrived home yesterday? Well, I had to work, <laughs> and also I had to pick up my sister. All right, very good. Remember that I had to work. That is not past perfect, right? But we're going to see that, okay? Thank you, Francisco. Oscar, same question to you. I went to buy pupusas where my aunt. Aunt. Okay. Uh, okay, you went to buy pupusas at your aunt's store? Or something? Yes. Yes. Okay. Very good. Uh, what about Ingrid? Okay, so what had you done before you arrived home yesterday? I went to the supermarket before I arrived to my house. Okay, before you arrived home. Okay. So, all right, very good. So you went to the supermarket before you arrived home. Okay, all right, so guys. I want you to notice, guys, okay, just with this question, right? Some of you were, were telling me, you know, uh, some of you were telling me, hold on, guys. Guys, is there anybody who didn't give me their example? I had cooked okay. dinner. Okay. I have cooked dinner, okay. Uh, all right, so I'm going to mute you right now, guys, just because I want to give you my example. Okay, so guys. Some of you were telling me I was running, you know. Uh, some of you said I had to work. Some of you said, well, actually, these are the only two tenses that you used, okay? I was running, I had to work. And some of you said I had, uh, I think Jenny you, and Maria, you gave me a good example, right? I had, I had cooked dinner, right? Very good. Notice, guys, that when I say, guys, what had you done before you arrived home yesterday, this is what's going on. All right, you have, you have the present, right? This is the present, okay? And this is the past. Now, you're talking about how many, well, how many clauses do we have here, guys? One. We only have one? one. So what have you done is not a clause? We yes. have we have yes, one and we have before you arrived home yesterday, that's two. Got it? So we have two clauses, okay? We have two actions, guys. Two actions, okay? So I'm asking you a question, right? 
what had you done? Okay. So let's say, guys, let's say, right? This is an example, right? Let's say that what had you done, okay, before you arrived home yesterday? Let's say that you arrived home yesterday at 8 p.m., okay? So this is when you arrived, okay? All right, 8 p.m., right? Actually, no, you arrived home at 9 p.m. Because you had another game from La Selecta and you didn't come to class, right? So you you had a, you arrived home at 9 p.m., okay? So my question is, you know, before this time, guys, before this event in the past, okay? All right, if I, guys, if I don't give you a specific time, all right, if I don't give you two events, guys, if I don't give you two events, I can say, you know, I arrived home at 9 p.m. See, I am in the present. I am in the present right now, and I am going to say, hey, you know what? This would this is what happened at 9 p.m. I arrived home at 9 p.m. But what if I want to talk about another action of the past, guys? See, what if I want to talk about an action that occurred before 9 p.m. before me arriving home? So this is where this is this is where past perfect comes for past perfect comes in. What have you done? Okay, this is what I did. Okay, all right, all right. This is this is what I did. Okay, esto es lo que hice yo antes de llegar a casa, right? So the past, all oh, the past is past perfect, guys. Okay, what is past perfect, guys? The past in the past. Past of the past. Okay, el pasado del pasado. Got it? Very good. All right, guys. So let's take a look at this. Okay, so we have we have the form. Okay, do me a favor, guys. Write this down in your notebook right now, please. Okay. Just write it down in your notebook. Okay, and and you're gonna tell me. Okay, so first of all, guys, in past perfect, there is something that you are going to have in common all the time. Okay. And what is that thing that you have in common all the time? Ernesto Peñate, what is that thing that you will always have in common? Ernesto, you're muted. If you're talking, you're muted. Could you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you now. Yeah. Uh, uh, the common in the is the auxiliary verb. Yes. So okay, very good. So guys, the one thing that you're always gonna have in common, guys, is the auxiliary. Now this auxiliary, guys, this auxiliary will always be had regardless of the pronoun because if it, if the pronoun is he guys am i going to change the, the auxiliary am i going to say he had am i going to add an s because it's third person no no right this auxiliary guys will always be the same okay this auxiliary will always be what guys the same this auxiliary will always be the same okay very good all right the other thing that you're always going to have in common is that there is going to be a past participle, okay? And let's see, Rodrigo Gonzalez, what is the past? What is a past participle? Uh, it's uh, irregular verbs with uh, the end of ed. Very good, guys. So it's an irregular verb with a. It's an irregular verb that ends in ed. Okay. Can you give me an example of? Uh, Give me a, ver a verb in the present. Well, a verb in base form and give me the past participle. For example, play and played. Okay, so we have play and we have played, right? Which is regular. What about if I say swim? What is the simple, uh, what is the past participle of the verb swim? Swim. Okay. Swam, right? Very good, swam. All right, very good, guys, okay? Good job, all right? So these are the two things, guys, that you're always gonna have in common, 
Okay, so let's see. Let's see. Oscar, would you please help me read the first example? When I arrived, my parents had left. Okay. All right, thank you. Let's take a look at that example, guys. Okay. Let's let's take a look at the the timeline. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Patty Rodriguez, would you please help me read the second example? Are you ready? Hello. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. The, the second example. When they arrived. When he arrived, not not when they, when he. Ah, uh, sorry. Uh, when he arrives to the train station, the, the train half left. Okay, repeat. That, that is not the right pronunciation. When he arrived, repeat. When he arrived. When he arrived to the train No, no, no. Station, listen, 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 listen. When he arrived, arrived da, 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 at the end. Arrived. Very good. So when, when he, he arrived, arrived to the train station, train station, not to the train, train station. St no, 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 not train a station, train station. Like one word, train, train station. station. Very good. Train station. Okay, very good. The train had left. The that train had left. Very good. Good job, guys. Good job. Okay. All right. Super good. Thank you, Patty. So, guys, let me ask you something, okay? So, what event happened first? What event happened first? Uh, the train had left its first event. Okay. So, the train had left, right? The train left yes. at, let's say, 9 a.m., right? And then the kid arrived at 9.15 perhaps, right? So the train had already left before he arrived to the to the train station, right? Very good, okay. So see you guys, we're talking about two actions here. And usually guys, this is always gonna be the case. Even if you don't pronounce guys, that's the, you know, if you don't, if you don't talk about the second action, all right? You still will be talking about two actions at the same time, all right? All right, so see you guys, this is what happened, right? So the train was the first action. Now, we don't know the time, guys, because we're not specifying the time here, okay? We are not specifying the time here. This is just assuming you know that the train arrived at 9 a.m. So you can say, hey, you know what? You know what? So I have two tenses in, past, in simple past here, okay? So the first tense that I got is, what would be the, the first one? The train, the train what? You guys give me the, 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 the sentence. The train what, guys? The train arrived, right? The train arrived at 9 a.m. Okay. Very good. So this is the first action, right? Now, the second one. All right. Give me another, the, the other 10 scene, symbol past. Yes. Ricardo, what would be the other tense and simple past here? About the, the, the sentence? Yeah. Uh, the person arrived to the train station. Okay. At what time? Uh, night 15. Yeah. Okay. So, so the train left, right? The train station oh. at. 9 a.m. Right, and you said the kid. The kid what? Arrived. The kid arrived to the train station at night 15 a.m. Uh, very good. Nine. Nine fifteen. Okay. A.m. Very good. All right. All right, guys. So this is what we got. So see, 
Now, if guys, if we're only talking about one action, guys, it's correct. I mean, you can say, you know, hey, dude, you know, the train left the train station at 9 a.m. Fíjate que el, el tren se fue a las 9 de la mañana. Hey, but then another thing came in. Okay, that another thing came up. Okay, otra cosa sucedió, otra cosa se, se vino. The kid arrived to the train station at 9.15. So how can I join them together? How can I join the two events together? ¿Cómo es que puedes unir los dos eventos juntos en una oración? All right? With past perfect. Okay? So, um, so past perfect, guys expresses what let's see who would like to help me read guys tati let's go tati help me read please the past oh hold on there you go go ahead the past perfect express the idea that something occurred before another action in the past that's why it is often combined with the past simple tense. Very good. Repeat expresses. Repeat expresses. Expresses. Occurred. Occurred. Combined. Combined. Very good. Okay, good job. All right, guys. So, guys, it's the idea that something occurred before, right, this is super important, before another action in the past, okay? Something before another action in the past, okay? All right, so again, guys, if I ask you, hey, you know, what do we use simple past for? What would be the answer, Monica? I don't know. Right, we just mentioned it, guys. What would be the answer? Something before another action in the past. What would be the answer, guys? Something before another action in the past. Okay, all right. That is that is what past perfect is used for, okay? All right. So let's have a look at another example. Notice, guys, that I can use... You can change the order of, it, of the ideas, okay? All right. So you can change the order of the ideas, right? Monica, help me read the first example. I didn't have any money because I have lost my, I don't know, purse. Okay, I had lost my purse. Purse, I have lost my purse. Very good, okay, I didn't have any money because I had lost my purse. Okay, so what, what event happened first, Monica? Um, uh, I have lost my purse. Okay, so you lost your purse, right? This happened first. And then this happened later, right? See, so guys, that's another thing, all right? You you can change the order, right? So this happened, this happened first, see? And this happened second, guys, all right? Now, can I say I had lost my purse because, uh, hold on, I didn't have any money because I had lost my purse. Can I say I had lost my purse and then we, I guess, can I say, because I didn't have any money? Can I say that, guys? Or maybe so. I yes. have lost my phone. No, I think it is wrong to say that. Hold on, hold on. The answer is yes, you can say that, but it wouldn't mean the same, okay? No significaría lo mismo, guys. Got it? All right, so if you say I had lost my purse, guys, okay, because I didn't have any money, it wouldn't mean the same, all right? So you, do, you have to be careful with this. You can change that, guys, but, you know, um, but you would need to do, uh, but it means we will need something else, right? So we also use it, guys, too. Ricardo, help me read, please. Uh, to describe a period of Time before a past action. To describe a period of time before a past action, guys, okay? I'm not really sure if you can all see this, guys, but hold on, let me, let me, um, let me do this, guys, okay? All right, so let's take a look at that example. Uh, Nuri, help me read, Nuri. Yeah. 
uh, uh, to describe a period of time before a past action. Okay, yeah, yeah, the, the example, yes, the example. Uh, ex uh, example, we have had that a car for 10 years before it broke down. Okay, guys, what is the period of time here? Ingrid, where do you see the period of time here, Ingrid? In the example, where do you see it? Uh, the car. Uh -huh. 10 years? 10 years, guys, mm -hmm. okay. All right, so it was 10 years. You had the car for 10 years. Here I'm saying, guys, habíamos tenido ese carro por 10 años, right? So we had that car for 10, we'd had that car for 10 years before it broke down, okay? So guys, what happened first? Did you have the car for 10 years or did it break down first? What happened first? ¿Qué, qué ocurrió primero? ¿Se te arruinó el carro o lo estuviste por 10 años? the car for 10 years. Okay, you had the car for 10 years. That was the first action, okay? All right, very good. Okay, guys, so let's take a look at more examples before we do the exercises for today, okay? All right. Um, so you guys are going to give me your examples, okay? Let's see. Maria, all right. Do my favorite, guys. Everybody send me your example, guys. Send me two examples, guys, in the chat. And I'm going to ask each of you, meanwhile, okay? Todo el mundo, dos ejemplos, guys, in the chat. Right? Well, Maria, all right, Maria, give me your example, Maria. Give me two examples. Actually, no, here, give me one. Okay, uh, let me see. Um, <laughs> By the way, guys, okay, you can use, okay, I'm going to give you some vocabulary that you can use. You can use before, you can use after, okay. Uh, you can use, you can use when, right? You can use by the time, all right? So you can use these guys to join, you know, the two clauses together, okay? All right, so let's go. Uh, I was, I was, Thin? I was what? Uh, thin. I was thin, okay. Uh, before. Before. Um, I. Ha, I had. Uh, my son. Okay, this is this is a good example to learn about your mistake. Okay, <laughs> because this is wrong. Okay, all right. Now, let me ask you something, guys. I'm gonna ask this to everybody, guys. In what tenses I was ten? What is this? What tense is that? Tense is that, guys. Quick. Uh Past, uh... Simple past, right? Yes. Now, when I say, guys, I had my son, what tense is that? Simple past, too. Exactly, guys. Guys, had here is not working as an auxiliary, okay? This is not an auxiliary, okay? This is the past of the verb have, guys. Guys, Si vos me decís, I had, I had my son, guys, no lo está usando como auxiliar, está usando como un verbo pasado del, del verb have, okay? So, you're, what you're doing here, guys, you're giving me simple past and a more simple past, you know? Mm -hmm. No, okay? All right, so the sentence is, I mean, you can say this, you know? All right? I mean, it's okay to say that, you know? <laughs> but that's not the example, all right? So you have to give another one. I right, think about it, Maria, all right? Uh, Ricardo, give me your example, Ricardo. 
Okay. Uh, I showed my skills after I. I, I showed. My I'm skills. not understanding that. Showed. Uh, the pass of chow. The pass of chow. No, with S. How do you pronounce it then? How do you pronounce it? Chowed. 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 Okay. I showed. My skills. My skills. After I had painted a picture. Okay, good job. Okay. That this is perfect. Good job. Perfect. Continue. I give it, send me the other example. Okay, Monica, let's go, Monica. Give me your example. I have saved money before I bought my house. Before I bought my house. Very good. Okay, good job. Uh, okay. uh, Maria, do you have your example now? Oh, okay. Nuri, let's go, Nuri. Let's change I, guys. Let's not say I anymore. Let's talk about Cheyenne if you want. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um. Not ready? So you know? No. All right, Ingrid, let's go, Ingrid. I have left the office before my bus arrived. Now, I don't want you to use I anymore. Guys, ya no me usan I, okay? I don't want I anymore. Using you, using use he, using she, use Cheyenne, right? Whatever. I don't want to, I wouldn't want you to use I anymore, right? So give me, you can give me the same example with a, with a different pronoun now. He has left the office before his boss arrived. He had left the office before his boss arrived. Very good. Okay, good job. All right, thank you, Ingrid. Let's see. Okay, I'm ready. Go ahead, Maria. She was thin mm -hmm. before she had lived, lived to Europe. Before she had lived to, to Europe. To Europe. Uh -huh. she had lived. You mean she had lived in Europe? In Europe, yes. Okay. Very good. Live this, baby. Pasado de vivir. No de dejar. Okay. Very good. So she was thin before she had lived in Europe. Okay, very good. That is a good example. Um, let's see. Francisco, let's go. I took a, a shower. By the time I had called you. By the time I what? I had called you. Okay. Okay. I took a shower by the time I had called you. Okay. All right. I took a shower by the time I had called you. I mean, it's, it's good. It sounds weird. I took a shower by the time I had called you. All right. I mean, it's good, guys, but it sounds weird. Uh, you always give me weird examples, friend, Santos. <laughs> All right. Uh, tomé un baño para cuando me había llamado. See, it doesn't sound, it sounds weird in Spanish too, guys. Cuando te llamé. No, cuando te había llamado. Te llamé simple pastor. Okay, very good. Uh, so that's, that's why it sounds weird because, you know, um, yeah, you should change that example. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's grammatically correct, but but I don't I don't understand the idea. Uh, let's see, Ernesto Peñate, give me your example, Ernesto. Okay. They were young before they grew up. No, that's incorrect. That is incorrect. They were young before they grew up. Tell me why is this incorrect, guys? The sentence, the sentence is correct. It makes sense, okay? But there is no past perfect here. Where's the past perfect? Ernest, where do you have the sentence in past perfect okay. here? Okay, they had been young. 
No. Yeah, that, maybe that, they... that doesn't sound right. They had been young. They had been young before they grew up. Yeah, that. Okay, you can say that they had been young before <laughs> they grew wow. up. Okay. All right, very good. That's good. Okay. Um. Let's see, Rodrigo. Give me your example, Rodrigo. Uh, he had played this game before you arrived. So he, okay, hold on. So he had played this game before you arrived, okay? Very good. All right, um, Jenny, give me your example, Jenny. Uh, I, no. <laughs> She had forget. She had to forget, for, guys. Forgetting, getting. For, forgetting. No. Ay, eso no sé cómo se pronuncia. Forgetting. What, what is forget. the past participle of forget, guys? Forget, forget, forgot. Forgotten. Okay, so she had forgotten. Forgot. She forgot. Turn to turn off the telev the TV before leaving home. To turn off the TV before leaving home. Very good. All right. Okay, good job. Uh, Tati, give me your example, Tati. Tati, you there? All right, there you go. Let me have your example, please. Are you muted, Tati? Está muteada. All right, Oscar, let's let's have your example, Oscar. Try to unmute yourself mean well, Tati. Oh, okay, okay, I understand, Tati. Uh, yes, Oscar, give me your example, Oscar. He had those shoes for one year, and then... She had and... those shoes... She had those shoes for one year. Mm -hmm. And then they don't work in don't work in anymore. And then they don't work in anymore. <laughs> so what 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 are you supposed to be saying here? Now here, okay, right. So listen. Where first of all, where do you have the past perfect sentence here? Where is the past perfect sentence here? ¿Dónde está el pasado perfecto aquí? Oscar? She had those shoes. No, that is not past perfect. That is simple past. She had those shoes. Ella tuvo esos zapatos. All right. So how can we, how can we correct this, guys? All right. Uh, Oscar, do you have the structure in your notebook? No, no. Beautiful. Okay, so I'm sorry, sir, but how are you gonna give me an example if you don't have your notes? Okay, como vas a hacer un ejemplo si no tener la estructura, right? So está totalmente incorrecto um, because first of all, this is simple past. Este es pasado simple, right? They have those shoes for one year. Simple past, and these, and then they don't work any. They don't work in anymore. Esto no. Eso no lo entiendo, right? No tiene sentido. Todo, toda la celebración no tiene sentido aquí. And then they don't work anymore. Y entonces ellos no trabajando más. That, that's what it literally says, okay? So you got to write down, guys, please, guys, please write down the example. Write down what I ask you guys to write down in your notebook because otherwise you're not going to know what to do during the exercises, okay? Si no escriben la estructura, si no escriben, guys, lo que les digo que escriban, no van a saber qué hacer después. Got it? So, all right, very good. Everybody, good job, though. Yes. All right, good examples. Okay, so how is the, yes, tell me, Nori. Okay, yeah. My husband had uh -huh. to came before the came my started. Husband, what, what? Had to came. Had to, no. Mm -mm. No. That is incorrect. Guys, one, one, one more thing. Nunca en tu vida says two plus, plus a verb in the past. That is impossible, okay? All right, you need to use, an, this is an infinitive. So guys, my husband had to came. 
first of all, that would be my husband had to come, okay, not to came, all right? So, Nuri, do you have the structure in your, in your notebook? Yeah. Okay, so after, after, so had, had is what? Is that an auxiliary or is that a, or is that a verb? Auxiliary. It is an auxiliary, right? Mm -hmm. So what comes after the auxiliary? Okay. What, guys, what comes after the auxiliary? A verb in past verb participle. In past. A verb in past participle. Okay, all right. Nuri, you have to give me a verb in past participle here. Do you know what a verb in past participle is? Uh, driving? No. Uh, driving is not a, a verb in past participle. All right. So, guys, okay, so you have, I'm going to give you the structure here real quick, guys, okay? Guys, can somebody dictate the structure to me? Can somebody dictate the structure? Uh, subject plus. Okay, so we have, all right, so we have the subject, right? Okay, plus had, plus what? Plus participle verb. Verb. Wow. If you don't know, si no sabes qué es un verbo en pasado participio, guys, que ya se lo expliqué, por cierto, en esta clase, andate a Google y lo investigas ahorita, por favor, okay? Verb in past participle. And then what, what do you need? Complement. Okay. Okay, you need a complement, right? Now here, guys, you can use, you know, you can use before, you can use after, you can use when. That's it, right? And then, guys, over here, you use simple past, okay? And this is the structure, all right? So you can say, all right, so following the structure, right, let's, uh, Oscar and, and uh, Nuri, okay? Following the structure, Oscar and Nuri, let's use the subject. I'm going to give you the subject, okay, all right? Let's talk about Cheyenne, all right? It's been a long time we don't talk about, since we don't talk about Cheyenne, guys, okay? All right, so Cheyenne had... Right, Oscar. So I need a verb in past participle, Oscar. Go ahead. Swam. Cheyenne has had song. Okay, had song. Very good. Okay, so Cheyenne had song. All right, and now I need before, after, and when, and simple past. Nuri, let's go. Um, when. When. Uh huh. Simple past, simple past. Pasado simple. No? When he. When he. When his no. girlfriend. No? Uh. All right, all right. Le voy a preguntar en español, Nuri. ¿Sabe qué es el pasado simple? Sí, cuando decimos que, que, que hizo no Spanish. algo. You don't talk in Spanish to me, okay? No me hable, ni, Ay, nadie no. me habla español a mí, guys, okay? All right, so what is it? Ahorita me, 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 me right. cerré. Okay, so no Spanish, all right? So, guys, I cooked. Is this in past, yes or no? Yes, yes. All right, so, Nuri, I need oh. a sentence in simple past. Don't worry, you're doing a good job, okay? Let me have a sentence simple past. Cheyenne had song. When? Or let's use when. before if you want, okay? Before what? When. Before. Before he. Before he. When he. Verb in the past. You just need a verb in the past. When he closed. Close the door. Very good. Okay, good job. Before he closed the door. Okay, good job. Okay, applause for Nuri, guys. Good job, Nuri. Okay. <laughs> All right. That's it. Okay, that's the whole thing. See? Not nothing complicated, guys. Okay, Cheyenne had sung before he closed the door. So you have simple past. I mean, I'm sorry, you had simple past here and you have past perfect here. Got it? All right. 
Very good. Any question, guys? Notice, guys, okay. Uh, I'm not going to give you more examples, guys, because you have given me a lot of examples. Ya no les puedo dar más ejemplos, guys, porque ya nos pasamos, okay? All right? Pero ustedes me dieron todos los ejemplos, okay? Check this out. Nuri, Oscar, check this out. I showed my skills. I showed my skills. What tense is that? ¿Qué tiempo gramatical es este? What tense is that? Past perfect. No, guys. Simple. I showed my skills in simple past, right? Simple I had past. painted a picture. What simple tense? What? past. We had past participle. Past. Right? right, PP. We're going to call it PP. And then complement, right? So you have, see? Subject, uh, auxiliary, and past participle, see? So this is past perfect. Okay. All right, very good. Uh, uh, this, what is that? I had saved money. What is that? Past perfect or simple past? Simple past. No, guys. Past perfect. Past perfect. That is past perfect. Pp. Pp. Hey, guys. Lo pueden creer en All right. All right, so, okay, so that is past perfect, okay? I bought my house. What is that? Simple past. Simple, simple past. past. Okay, right. Why? Why? Why is this past perfect? Because the action finished in the past. Yeah, it's, it's past perfect porque tiene un auxiliar y tiene el past participle, okay? Si tiene estas dos cosas, ya sabes que es past perfect. Got it? Okay? Got it. All right. So, in the next example, all right, Oscar, all right, Oscar. So... I had left the office. What is that, past perfect or simple past? PP. Simple Thank past. You. Thank you, Oscar. No, that is past perfect. Past perfect. All right. You have had plus past participle. Okay, so the next had, guys, your past participle is past perfect, okay? And then you have simple past, okay, All right? Nuri, she was thin. What is that, past perfect or simple past? Uh, Simple past. Very good, okay. Past perfect or simple past? Past perfect. Good job, okay. All right, very good. Monica, I took a shower. Simple past. All right, I had called you, Maria. Past perfect. Okay, past Jenny. Per very good, thank you. Jenny, they had been young. Uh, past perfect. Okay, good job. Okay, that is past perfect, right? Oscar, he had played. Perfect. Past perfect. That is past perfect. Why is it past perfect, Oscar? They had an actually. Because he has an auxiliary and a past participle, okay? Auxiliary and past participle here, okay? All right, very good. Is that under Sue, guys? Okay, are we good? All right, very good. Okay, so now, guys, you're going to do this other exercise. All right. So you're going to do this, guys, okay? You're going to re-paraphrase this exercise. For example, guys, the sentence is, this, for example, this, this sentence right here, okay? Uh, if you say, guys, I took an aspirin, then I felt better. We have, how many actions do we have here? Two. Two. We have two yeah. actions, okay, All right. So you're gonna put one after the other one. So how can you do that? You can say, after I had taken an aspirin, I felt better, see? So what action happened first, guys? Taking an aspirin, right? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And then I felt better. So you can say, you can say it in a different way, okay? You know what? Uh, after you can say um, I felt better after I had taken an aspirin so you can change the clauses right for example number one guys she did her home she did uh, she did her homework then she went to bed what action happens first she did her, her homework very good so how can you paraphrase this with a past perfect sentence she did her homework after then she went to bed. Remember, guys, the, the action that happened first will be in past perfect. Okay, la acción que pasa 
en el pasado del pasado, que la opción que pasa primero es la que va a ir en past perfect. All right? So, which action happened first here? She did her homework, right? So that needs to be in what? She had. She had. She had what? Her homework. No, she done. had done. done her homework. Done. Okay. And then what? Her homework. Before or after? After. After she went to bed? Before. Or before? Before, before, guys. Okay. Very good. Okay. So that's what you're going to do, guys. Okay. Got it? All right. And then, guys, you have this other one, which is basically complete. All right. You have to complete the space. All right. Any questions, guys, on what we're going to do? Pregunta de lo que vamos a hacer, guys. Very interesting topic. I see, guys. <laughs> All right, don't worry, guys. You're doing good, guys. It's done bien, okay? Don't worry, okay? Happens. Okay, hold on. I'm going to send you the get-together, guys, and I'm going to send you the these things to the WhatsApp group, okay? Uh, Jenny, you have two devices, right? No? I had a problem with the computer. No, 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 but I don't see your other device. That's what I'm asking. Uh, anyways, let's go. <laughs> Maria, let's go, Maria. Yes, in the chat. All right, guys, okay. did you get the images? Yeah. Okay. Number one. Number one. After she had done her homework. Okay. Okay, and then uh, number two, she we had saw... no, and the we saw our friends, and the number one after, after she had okay, let's start. Number yeah. one. Uh, number one. Let me know if you have any questions, guys. Did you okay. see the the exercise in WhatsApp? I, I'm not able to see the number two. The I yeah. I, I think it is in WhatsApp. Where are the exercises? Yes, in WhatsApp. They're on the WhatsApp group, guys. Did you saw oh, okay. it? I would try to find it. No. You very well. I mean, you have to change it. Like, we had uh, seen our friend, then we went home. Yes, yes, yes. Any questions, guys? Good. Good. Oscar, All right. yes. All right. The simple pass. It's a very simple pass. It's a simple pass. The check. Uh -huh. Checking the simple pass, the check. Mm -hmm. uh, any questions? If both picture or only la the last one picture, we need to do the exercise. I didn't understand. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. No. We need to, to do two pictures or only one? Two, but I don't think that you're going to have time for two of them. Mm -hmm. Just the, the first one, I guess. Okay. The first one. Okay. Yes. okay. Thank you. Tatiana, the first picture. <laughs> okay. But I think that's... That's... that's uh, I think that the, the, the answer is Sam had done the homework by the time his mom returned home. Yeah. Okay. The past okay. perfect. 
and the, the first part I think that the, is the past perfect and for the mom is the simple past. Yeah, so continue with the three. Okay. All right, do you have any questions, guys? Yeah, uh, in the second sentences, I feel that the two actions uh, was in, were in the, in the same, same time. time. The same time. Okay, so, so what would you say then? So how would you rearrange that? That one is actually super easy because it's already giving you what you just have to transform. Oh, uh, we saw, you mean we saw our friends, then we went home, that one? It's the same. Which one are you doing? Uh, You're supposed to be doing the first picture. The first picture. Oh, sorry. Yes. About the repricing, repricing exercise. Yes, that one. Yes. Okay. Oh, okay. Yes. Yes. But, but, uh, Guys, you're working on the first picture, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. All right. So, what was the answer for the second one? We've seen. We had seen. We had what seen our that? friends. Uh huh before we went home. Very good. Okay. Now, we uh, we saw friends, then we went, okay. Uh, we had seen our friends before we went home. Okay, all right. Very good, that, that is correct, okay. 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 He felt happy. Hi guys, you're working on the first picture, right? That's yes, good. the first picture. David, what is, yes. What is the perfect past of ring? Wrong, and what is the past perfect? Wrong? Wrong, yeah, wrong. Okay. So what, what was the answer for number two, guys? Oh, you are right, Nuri. Uh, <laughs> did you, Nuri, go uh, ahead. Uh, okay. We have seen our friends uh -huh. after we went at home. Mm. After? Uh, Are you sure it's after? after. No. Before. Diciendome, That's visto be before, amigo, before we went habíamos, home. What you're saying is, habíamos visto a nuestros amigos después de que fuimos a la casa. Entonces ahí me estás diciendo que fuiste a la casa primero y después lo viste. Uh -huh. Before. 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 Before, right? Before. Ahí dice, vimos a nuestro amigo. Después fuimos a la casa, right? Mm -hmm. okay. Before we went All right, guys, we have, to, okay. we have to go back now, okay? Hold on. Okay. But you can finish. All right, guys. Uh, finish these exercises, guys, okay? Guys, yo sé que ya se van, pero termínenlos, okay? Solitos. Tomorrow, I'm going to ask you. Le voy a preguntar mañana, okay? I'm going to ask you tomorrow, guys. I have to go now, okay? So, see you. All right, good night, guys. See you later. See you.